Greetings, traveler. I'm Snapjelly, and I have this series here on YouTube about the weapons in Skyrim and how realistic or effective they would be in an actual battle. It's a fairly popular series. I've made quite a few videos about that. And since the beginning, since the first video that I made about that topic, people have been referring me to Lean Wolf's uh, Better Shaped Weapon mod. Now, before I say anything else, I want to say to, to, to Lean Wolf, if you are watching this, if, that I don't want you to take any of my criticism to heart in any future designs that you might have, because any criticism that I give is based around actual real-life weapons and, and their functionality, and not, you know, the style of the video game. And I think that you did a great job at making the designs slightly better or more reasonable, whilst still keeping the original style of Skyrim there. And that's something that I'm not keeping in mind. So, you know, if, if you would take anything that I say and put that in a sword design, then what you're left with is just a very ordinary sword with nothing fantasy about it. It's just a normal sword then. So that would take away all of the inertia of, of the world that Skyrim has. So please don't take this as criticism, Lean Wolf or anybody else. This video is just for fun. Uh, I think overall it's, it looks pretty good, and if you want to get this mod, I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can get it. Um, so I'm just gonna gonna pick one and, and uh, start, I guess. Alright, so first let's take a look at the Glass Greatsword. Um, Alright, so the colouring looks like the colouring in, in, as it was in Oblivion, I believe. Um, and just overall it seems like you just made it a bit slimmer. Which, in this case, works. It still has a couple of the problems that it originally had, but overall this way would be way more maneuverable because the blade is just incredibly large. The guard is smaller though, I'm not sure if I like that, but the rest is overall reasonable. See this is just going to be a very light-hearted review, right? I'm not going to be that, um, that critical in this video. The next one is the one-handed uh, glass sword. I don't know why you changed the colors, but um, overall the blade looks, looks, I would say better, looks more like an arming sword now. The, the original blade had, you know, if it had a straight edge then it would just been a very cut-centered blade, which is not per se wrong, it's just a, uh, you know, very cutty. Again the guard is smaller, I don't like that, and you make the grip longer, I don't really like that either. But overall it looks pretty good. The Elven Greatsword. Again, I don't know what's up with these colors, if that's on purpose or if that's just my computer acting up or, or something. But here, this is a classic example of just making it slimmer and it really improving the overall design a lot. Uh, the guard is a bit bigger, allows for a bit more protection, and the blade would overall just be more nimble this way. And it would still have plenty of cutting power, so this is an improvement. On the other hand though, Here's the Dragonbone Greatsword, and this one would actually still have all the problems that it originally had. You made the guard a bit slimmer, which is which is good, it was thicker than it needed to be. It's overall a bit slimmer, but this would still have the exact same problems that it originally had. So it's not necessarily an improvement in this case. Alright, now this is the one-handed um, Dragonbone Sword. So you made it symmetrical, okay, good, and overall slimmer. Um, that's a very nice shape to it. Again, it would still have the same problems that the, the that the original has, except it would be a bit lighter because it's just overall thinner and and. I mean, also it looked like you make the guard smaller, and I don't really know why. I mean, you can make the guard thinner, but the original size of the guard was not too big, so. And it looks like you made the guard smaller and the grip longer, whilst the guard and the grip need to be in proportion of each other. So that's not really uh, something I like. And also the original one was not symmetrical, but I don't think that that would necessarily be a problem on this blade. However though, the, the new one still looks very good and I don't know why the original one was not symmetrical because the great sword version was well uh, was symmetrical so um this one makes more sense I can tell you that all right now this is the elven sword the single-handed one and I oh, 
I like this one. This is this one looks very good actually. I like the guard. It's still very small, but it, it looks good, um, and it would work better than the original one. Overall width is is better. It just looks more sword like. Um, but just why is the grip so freaking long? Okay, that's that's one of my personal pet peeves. Really, just just uh, excessively long grips on on sword designs is just unnecessary. And one of the main complaints that I had about the original designs in Skyrim is that all almost all of the grips were just too long. But the Elven Sword, the single-handed Elven Sword, was actually one of the ones that had a grip that was reasonable size. I just said that the pommel would would make it. Um, would not allow a second hand because that's what people might say. You know, people might say, "Well, it's it's a hand and a half sword or a bastard sword because you can this way you can also use both hands." But the thing is, a one-handed sword also allows usage of both hands because you can grab the pommel. Except if the pommel is is weird shaped like the original design has here, then you can't apply your hand there. Now on the new one, the pommel is more normal. It does allow a second hand. But you make the grip way longer, and it's not just perspective. Like if you would align the base of the guard, you can see that it is just it is way longer. That's just unnecessary. The length of the original grip on this sword is is just proportionate to what it what it's supposed to be. So I don't like that you make the grip longer on this one. But I just don't like excessively long grips in general. The rest of the blade looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the blade size. I love the guard. This one's way better. Honestly, I think it's beautiful. I, I really like this one. This one looks good, except for the grip. The grip is disgusting, but the rest is good. <laughs> um, This one is the Deadrick Battle Axe. And uh, I see what you did there. Okay, it's safer to use now because it's, it's less spiky your way. Although you could, it's still close enough that you could hurt your own hand on that. It would have made more sense, I think, if you would have connected it to, to the pole. Um, but that's not necessary again. Both of these axes are, ju are just way too freaking fat to be able to be used. Because they're like, they're like two inches thick. It's crazy. Way too large for battle axe. I don't really think this is per se an improvement. It's just, just a change, really. Although on the original one, the, the, the downwards portion was of course not sharp because that was way too large because it split off into, into two sections like that. So that's a slight improvement. But overall this doesn't really, really change that much to be honest. Oh boy. Yes, I like this. This is freaking beautiful. Half of the sword length, genius. This one. This one is my favorite so far, because honestly, this takes away basically all complaints that I had about the original design. It is freaking gorgeous. This is absolutely beautiful. I like it. The grip is still wonky, but you kept the original one. I'm fine with that. Um, you made the sword breaker a bit wider, it makes it more likely for you to catch an opponent's sword in there. This is just, this is, this is, this is great. This is honestly great. This is, this weapon is fine. I think I like this one the best so far. This one is, this one is really good. This is how it should have been originally. Well done. This is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Next one, Orcish Greatsword. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like this one. Not as bad as the one-hander. That's what I said. <laughs> That's exactly what I said in my video. Um, yeah, well, I, I said that the, the Orcish Greatsword was not as bad as, as the as the one-hander. And, you know, it, it is... The, the new one is, is straighter, but I don't think that would really make it more usable. It doesn't really look better either, just different. It looks like just two poorly made swords like you would you would make a sword poorly and then make another sword and that wouldn't be exactly the same shape you know that's that's kind of what it what it looks like to me two versions of the, of the same thing doesn't really doesn't really change a thing the last one i'm going to talk about is the imperial sword now uh, this one 
Um, the original one I compared to, to the Roman Gladius because I strongly feel like the Imperials in Skyrim are based off the Romans. Now, the new one looks more like an arming sword, which compared to the, the other designs makes more sense. But I personally just kind of like the original one, the design of the original one. Um, because here's the thing, right? In Skyrim, the swords are just overall too large. The scale does, is, isn't really proportionate. So if you would take the original design and scale it down, make it just overall a bit smaller, then it would function pretty much the same as a Gladius would. And if you would combine it with a fairly large shield, like a, a Scutum or, or a round shield could work as well, then that would, that would work pretty well. Um, the, the, the new one would also work in that same regard, so it's, it's not really an, an improvement, but the new one would make more sense if it's a bit longer, and the old one would make more sense if it's a bit smaller. Like The old one is, is, a, is, a, is a thrusting, so short sword shape, and the new one would be more of an arming sword shape. That's, uh, that's what I feel like. Or maybe the new one is like the cavalry version. Kind of like the Gladius and uh, the Spatha, where it is just longer overall. Um, I feel like both these designs could be used, actually. I, I feel like maybe that's actually how it should be. It's like a, a shorter, stubbier version for on foot, and a longer, thinner version for, for horseback, for example. Well, yeah, I like it. It's, it's good. Overall, I think you did a great job. It's well done. So, I didn't mention nearly all of them, but... Um, you know, this was just kind of a general overview. Once more, I will leave a link in the description below if you want to get this mod. And I mean no disrespect to to the designer of this mod because overall, I think it's I think it's very I think he did a very good job, just keeping the style of Skyrim and making the swords in their ridiculous ways slightly less ridiculous. And uh, I'm honestly I'm glad that he did it because it looks great. It really does. So thank you. For watching this video, if you want to know if the swords in Skyrim are realistic, then you can click here. Or if you want to know if the great swords are realistic, then you can click there, somewhere in the corners. And uh, thank you for joining my quest, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Bye, guys.